Hello and welcome to another amazing period on Lemak TV, the Problem Solvers Channel. My name is Jake Miracle. We are going to be dealing with tough differentiation problems on differentiation part two. In my previous video, I explained on the function of the function system and I explained the methods, the formulas, and the, the series of uh, issues that one may face in dealing with those kind of questions. Today, we're going to be dealing with another different uh, entirety on its own, um, the exponential form in differentiation, the exponential method of differentiating, or the logarithm to exponential form of differentiation. Of differentiation. Now, supposing you're giving a question like this, uh, say y is equal to 2 raised to power um, sine x, y is equal to 2 raised to power sine x. Wow, you're supposed to differentiate this and find the, the y, the x. So, how do you solve this? You will be surprised. Now, the first thing is to use the, the function of the function formula to remove the function above the number you're seeing here, 2. And so, you begin by saying u, let u be equal to sine x. You represent the function with a letter and then you differentiate the letter separately and differentiate the new function that you get separately with respect to what you substitute. So let's begin. And so let you be equal to sine x. The u the x will be equal to cos x. The u the x will be equal to cos x as you know in your list of trig functions. And so we move to the next one. What we have here is going to be or going to be y is equal to 2 raised to the power u. Why? Because we represented sine x with u. So what we have left is the u above. So we're going to differentiate this other part with uh, the exponential form. And so how do we begin? We we'll apply log to both sides. And so we say apply log, apply the log. You could use uh, the exponential log, the one created by Euler. And then you say, okay, if I apply, uh, uh, how do we put it? Apply the log to both sides. To both sides, find the exponential log of both sides. So we say the log of y with respect to e, base e rather, is the log of 2 raised to power u, which is m with base e. And so we change the in of y is equal to in of 2 raised to power u. This is what we have here now. And so our value here, according to the laws of log, the u is going to come down. So what you have in of y is equal to u in 2. Well, you remember that in 2 is actually a, you know, a constant with a value of 0 0.6931. Uh, so that's not important. What we just have is a letter and another letter over here. So we can easily destroy this. And so we say find, we differentiate both sides in a certain equally. And so we differentiate the side. We differentiate y. All you have is a, with respect to u, all you have is a 1 over y. Because when you differentiate a log like this, all you have is 1 over that function, 1 over that value or that variable. So 1 over y, the y, the u, is equal to in of 2. Do you know we're having in of 2 here? Because we have u here. And so when you differentiate uh, any value, like you, you remember that the u, the x, the u, the u is actually 1. So we're differentiating u, the u, the u of this. And then multiply by this, u du is 1, so 1 times in 2 will give us a 2. So that's what we have here. So the y du is what we're looking for. So the y du is going to be equal to uh, 1, okay, y in 2. So what do we have? This is it here. And so we say the y du is equal to y in 2. We move over here, sorry, and say, we say uh, the y the x actually what we're looking for. So we say the y the x is equal to the y the u times the u the x. So we continue by saying y in 2, y in 2 times cos of x, y in 2 times cos x. So we have it here and then it gives us uh, y cos x in 2, y cos x in 2. And so we have our y to be 2 raised to the power u, you remember, and so it's going to be 2 raised to the power u cos x in 2. But u as well is sine x. So we say it is 2 raised to the power sine x cos x 
in 2. Therefore, our final answer is if y is equal to 2 raised power sine x, the y the x actually equal to 2 sine x cos x in of 2, or the log base e of 2. And so this gives us our final answer. If you notice, if you make use of the function and the function law, and also makes it of the exponential law. So this is how you deal with most of the top differential problems. You can actually try more others or send them to the or comment in the video below sending your questions or sending a pic of any of them, the difficult ones, so we can actually attend to them and I'll deal with them in the next video. So in my next video, I'll be dealing with Newton's laws of motion. Uh, the applications inertia and uh, the calculations under them. We then will need these laws of motion in the next videos uh, we'll be handling. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay calm. The virus is real. Wear a face mask and uh, wash your hands regularly with soap and water. Stay safe once again. Watch my videos, subscribe to them. I wish you an amazing Christmas and a Merry New Year and a Happy New Year rather. Stay safe, goodbye. Thank you.